they didn't like him. He didn't go into Crusoe. As far as myself, now, there were some good people down there, and there were some mean ones down there, too. And I thought about as mean as I could hold. They had fight in a minute, shoot you in a minute. And it didn't matter if you said one word out of the way, it was, it was history. People say, you know, don't push me in a corner, I'll come out kicking, so to speak. Well, we're in a corner. Come in our corner and we'll kick you back out. Unless you have a reason to be on this road in front of my home, you're not here. Kind of had to look out for herself down here. And it being a dead end road, one way in and one way back out, you know everybody. A lot of people always made fun of Crusoe, made fun of us. And I don't think it's no different nowhere else. It's just that it's what we were raised knowing. But at one time it was just a wilderness within a wilderness, sort of. Well, people perceived it that way. The people who lived here, not necessarily. It was home to them. You're just pegging the potato sprouts out. Peg or the stick. Part of my life as a kid was living the life basically like Huck Finn did. Barefoot, cane pole, pole, and my jeans rolled up and, and no shoes, of course. Can of worms and the fishing hole. This is a place for me to come and get away and just collect my thoughts and, and just clear my head and this is this is uh, this is home for me. Everybody knows everybody. Everyone's just one big old happy family. If you dig deep enough, everybody's just kin. I just think it's more far fetched that they kind of make it drastic, something that it's not. If you haven't experienced this community and you know the, the culture here, you'll never know. And, you know, they'll joke and they'll say, oh yeah, you're just a crusoe, you know, but I, I don't take that hard today. When somebody says that, I sort of boast. You know, I sort of say, yes, I am, you know, and I'm glad to be. Could, could not want to ever live anywhere else, ever. <laughs>